We'll see you then. Thank you, Kevin. All right, from Albany today, Republican state lawmakers and some school district officials are both trying to pump the brakes on one of Governor uh, Kathy Hochul's climate plan provisions. Now, it would require total zero emissions for school buses for all school districts by the year 2035. And as Two On Your Side's Ron Plants reports, there is now some political pushback. They're in the minority. The GOP state lawmakers hope to raise taxpayer concerns over some of the projected cost of a total electric school bus conversion for the state's over 700 school districts. Those EV buses estimated by the state school boards association to cost up to $400,000, two to four times more than a conventional existing diesel school bus, even though there could be less maintenance and no diesel fuel purchases. The state says it'll distribute $500 million to assist with that transition. Where is the rest of the money coming from? It's going to come from our school districts. It's going to come from our property taxpayers that are already overwhelmed. One southern tier district surveyed residents on new electric bus purchases, stating 65% would not support it with a cost. How much can the local tax bases bear with a program that's being touted by our governor and the Public Service Committee, but yet not funded? And for most of the school districts, we will not see the funding until well after the communities have been forced to pay. They say also factor in greater electric power capacity required from utility companies and the cost of installing heavy voltage charging stations in bus garages. We will need to spend that 50 million on the infrastructure uh, upgrade. This is going to require uh, voter approval. This cost will cover the increase in electrical power coming into our campus. Locally, the Lakeshore Central School District, which obtained specific federal grant money for cost, says its two electric buses have performed well. But there's skepticism about cold weather operation and battery lifespan. So in a proposed bill, the state's energy research agency called upon. Let's have NYSERDA study this in every condition, in the cities, in the suburban areas, in our rural areas. Let's find out what happens. So the response from the governor's office again mentions that $500 million fund to help districts, plus concerns about the potential impact on children's health from pollution caused by diesel buses. No specifics. On your side, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Ron, thanks. And right